Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see, we have uh, started with this tutorial of modeling a wardrobe. So simultaneously, our interior tutorial will also go on simultaneously. So let's first uh, do this also. So let's just go over here and create some of the assets uh, which are just left out. So I'll just take a box over here. I'll just slightly drag it till here. And I'll convert to editable poly. So select the vertices and I'll slightly just push it over here and I can just move it up if required so let's go into the top view and you can see the correct position over here so let's create few of the things like the box part over here so few of the assets we can just model it to show that the wardrobe is been filled so convert to editable poly so again let's go into this let's go into the modeling over here and I'll put one swift loop over here select the polygons and slightly give extrude by local normal let's click OK so if you want to make it more smoother, you can make it more smoother. I can again go over here. Let's take a line over here for the handle part. So slightly just push it up. select the vertices and let's give a bit of fillet to it so I'll again go over here go into rendering enabling viewport make it rectangular reduce its width and reduce its height over here in this way so you can slightly reduce its length and width, convert to poly, select the edges, let's give some connects over here, so select the vertices, R and scale it, you can slightly scale it if required, it's your choice how you can make that. So slightly I'll scale it and I can just push this over here. So select this edges, give connect, select the vertices. Now, so let's create the other asset. So I'll slightly just uh, make a copy of it. So I can just push this up. I can slightly scale this, push this up. So you can now again you can create some other bag or something if you want you can do that so let's just take a box over here so convert to editable poly select this edges and let's give slight 
chamfer to it I can increase this select the edges let's give chamfer or oh, sorry let's give connect so now you can go into this and you can add a FFD box over here slightly just push this up in whatever ways you want you can you can do that so we need a proper reference whatever you are going to create it so if you don't have a proper reference then it is uh, difficult to make such stuff over here because for bags also you need a proper reference so you can convert to editable poly select this edges you can give multiple connects over here select this and this extrude it up slightly so use one swift loop here one here select this let's just bridge this so we can definitely scale it later on also it's not a problem so for now I'll just extrude it again up so let's put two, two loops over here select this polygons bridge it You cannot give turbo smooth if you try to give turbo smooth it's going to affect in this way. So we need to we can just go into the vertices and slightly just push this much closer. We can push this much closer like this. Push this closer. slightly you can scale it wherever it is required so this is going to be a small asset so we are not going to work much on it so I'll just uh, place this bag over here just put it in this way that's it So you can create multiple entities in this way. So let's again uh, just copy this down over here. So you can create sandals or shoes over here. So let's again take a box over here. Convert to editable poly let's put some edges or let's first give some segments convert to editable poly and let's give FFD box so I can just add I can just scale this So if you are creating a sandal or shoes or something, whatever. So I'll again go into this and I can slightly just select this and push it behind. 
so convert to editable poly so let's put one loop over here let's put one loop over here so if you want you can select this slightly just extrude it click ok so put one swift to here here select this and this and let's bridge this oops it's looking very big so you can just select the edges and if you want you can slightly give chamfer to it let's add some segments to it and make it round so again select the edges let's give some connects over here so slightly you can just make it look round over here and let's give a turbo smooth if required so you can just assign a turbo smooth over here so let's give a ffd box on top of it convert to editable poly and let's mirror it copy it in x axis so you can just place it we are not just going with too much of details with this particular uh, assets we can say So just save your file once again. What we have over here. Just scale this. I'll slightly just push it out. Create this. After that, you can just create a mirror also if required. You can just create a mirror and few assets. More are there. So you can just create a mirror, scale it, and slightly rotate it convert to editable poly select the polygons insert it let's click ok for the mirror part so I'll slightly just push it inside so there are a lot of things uh, which is just left out which will be doing it so so just create a bottle So I'll just activate this auto grid, convert to editable poly, so select the polygons, I'll slightly just scale this, and 
this way and just extrude a bit not much that's it let's use one swift loop over here select the polygons and slightly just extrude it out use one swift loop over here and slightly just push it down and rotate it so you can just select this edges and slightly you can give a bit of chamfer to it much better so select this again and slight chamfer is required over here also and let's click ok that's it so you can just scale it So there are few more things uh, which will be continuing it in the coming tutorial. So definitely we will be continuing with that interior tutorial as well. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.